the Zed Girl Special Forces were actually surviving against the zombie hordes and they were actually fighting back. Now they were making such rapid progress. Now they could focus on their base more. There's never any zombies. This uh, perimeter was always secure. Oh, and then I actually recorded all these clips last night. I was just playing for an hour and a half and all the other stuff was rendering. I couldn't use the microphone, so I'm going to have to narrate over everything. So this is going to take a while. An hour and a half of footage I'm going to have to condense and then voice over everything. The girls were making rapid progress in the technological researches. We were researching more ways to get more resources even faster, more clear cutting now. There's more girls to train. There's always more girls to train. We were getting so many girls, 110 girls every four and a half minutes. There's just so much to do. Now we had to work on our base. Our base, we could expand it. We could upgrade everything. We could get more resources per hour, tons of stuff. After a nice long rest, the girls were free again and they were well rested. They were ready to expand the shelters so the population could grow even further. And then there was lots more to do. We could look for things to upgrade. Embassy was way too expensive. We needed more iron. Well, that wasn't we could get iron. We needed ways to get more iron. We could upgrade the refinery that would increase our iron income per hour. The girls worked on building and they built and they built. The girls were running out of iron. We needed more iron to build more materials. We had to scout the map. We had to go see, was there any resources out there? Armies needed to go bring some more resources back to the base. So we scouted, we looked for more zombies. Was there any refineries nearby that were level three or level four? Maybe, or what about the other stuff? We searched and we searched. The girls searched all around the base. They found something. They finally found the ancient zombies. There was an ancient zombie right out the front of the door. He had iron. So the girls prepped up. The girls got all the uh, formations ready. The, yeah, the girls all suited up to suited up to go uh, go fight against the zombies. And now the girls went. Yeah, they suited up. There we go. Now the girls went. Uh, to fight the zombies so they could uh, get more steel to bring back to the base. We needed more resources. The girls were just uh, taking all the fights to the zombies. Now back at the base, we are completed building another thing. Uh, what were all these reports we could look at? All of our resource gathering reports, they were looking good. We gathered lots of food and lots of fuel yesterday. The girls expanded their mining operations so they could get more iron per hour. And then we healed the wounded that were out there fighting the wars for us against the zombies. We had to get more troops. We were, just didn't have enough to fell the APC. We had to, or needed more troops in our team. We could fill more in there, but we needed more exile units. We needed, uh, we needed all of the girls we could get. We just needed more girls. There just was never enough. All the zombies out there. They, why are they hurting all of them? But the girls were winning the fight against the zombies. Battle after battle, the girls went, went on. We also had the new girls on our team, the Light of the Renaissance. She was going to help us with the farming. She was going to help us gather more food faster. She was just a master farmer. Good thing she came to help us, but we could not use it for anything. We had to upgrade some stuff before we could station her. But she looked super sick with a super sick gun. The girls continued to expand. We upgraded our bank operations so we could get more money per hour. The girls were just upgrading everything. The base was just expanding so fast. And then we had more girls ready. We were just getting more girls on the team. We were training more exile girls and training more archery girls. There's just so many girls out there to fight against the zombies. And now we still had to work on our other operations. The other refinery was done. Now our steel operations were even better. We work on a mining more steel better. There we go. Yeah, go girl, go work on the mining operations. The girls worked night and day. They worked all this time. Now we had more units. Now we could uh, refill our ranks in the APCs. Now our girls ready to go take the fights back out to the zombies again. Fully healed, fully rested. Now there's more ancient zombies. We should probably find mutated zombies that probably give us more experience, right? Don't really need anything. So then the girls, they set out. Oh, we fought the plague zombies because I guess we needed food. Yeah, we probably needed food. The girls needed food for the base. She went out to go search for some more food. 
Then, back home at the base, the girls were busy building. Oh, but they were done building the refinery, so now the girls could uh, continue working on their mining operations and upgrade their refineries even further. And then, battle after battle, the girls were victorious over the zombies. But the zombies, the hordes, they, they seemed to have never ending. There was never ending numbers of zombies out there, but the girls, they persisted. They were the special forces. The girls were finally ready to expand their base to the level 6 and unlock the Heroes Hall and the Mobile Army Factory and the Command Center and a whole bunch of other things, the Power Storage Facility. They were soon, they had all the materials, but then they found out after upgrading to level 6 you will lose any war protection and not be able to use newbie cross server teleport into the chain zones. Do you still want to upgrade? The girls thought, no, maybe we're not ready to upgrade yet. Maybe we don't want to lose our war protection and lose our teleportation abilities. We still have to upgrade things here, so then the girls continued to work on the base. We upgraded our banks. We upgraded everything. We probably had to upgrade all of our stuff. The Zed girls special forces were continuing to rapidly expand their base, but they needed some help. They were running out of resources. They were running out of time. Oh, here's the sale. Now we could, uh, this is definitely a good option. We could uh, save $500 and we get all this stuff. This would definitely really help all the 100000 so that's like, a, what, 8 million experience? Is that what that said? We get all these heroes. Jeez, we had to highly consider this now that we learned everything about the game. Now we could uh, get some more heroes if we get this. And our heroes and all the experience. What were we going to do? It was only $33 and we saved $500. Definitely worth it. We're going to have to think about it sometime. But the girls had other things to do. We couldn't worry about all the savings right now. We're getting lots of resources. The girls were out of food in the dining hall. We needed more food. The girls needed more water. Quick, go pick up some food from the granary. Go pick up some water. And we need some more of the oil factories running out of power. We need to refill them. Go, girls. So the girls worked night and day and they drove the trucks to go pick up the oil, probably. Yeah, the fuel to fill the power plant. And then she went to go pick up the water to get water for the dining hall. And then more girls were ready. We needed to trade more girls. Just the more endless training and more girls. Jeez, all the girls. And then on the battlefields, we had to go search. We had to go find some more zombies to destroy. There's more ancient zombies right here. Jeez, we're looking for the mutated zombies though, probably. They're probably ridiculously strong. They give us more experience. Yeah, cause we need 1,500 of power. So then the girls, they marched on. They were, oh, we had to get more units. Here we go. Now the girls were ready to go march on and fight against the zombies fully prepared. The mutated zombie was not going to stand a chance and the girls continued to pursue on to go get some more materials for the base and level up some more. And then scouting the map we could see there was actually other survivors out there. There was another, another encampment some more girls. Jesus. Maybe we could form an alliance with one of them at some point. Jesus more survivors out there. We thought we were the only girls left, but that is good news. The more girls, the better. Knowing that the girls had to get in contact with the other girls out there, we had to look into the embassy. We didn't even build it yet, but this was going to allow us to talk to the other girls. We could communicate with the other girls and collaborate together and work together to destroy the zombies. And then also the girls continued to expand the base and upgrade everything. The and then the girls arrived to defeat the mutated zombies. They were just victorious and we got all of our iron and we got 800 more experience and we even got a courage medal. And yeah, Sirocco was awarded with a courage medal. She was just a role model special forces girl to look upon. She was just going crazy. She was almost level six ready. She was just getting so strong. And then back at the base, the girls were working hard to expand even further. Expanding their uh, water purification operations so they could have more clean drinking water for everybody in the encampment.
Ayo Sirico continued to lead the troops to go expand and go find resources to go bring back to the base. She was just an amazing leader. She was just glad that uh, she came upon her base. She's been such a great help to the special forces. Nighttime fell upon the base and the girls knew that it was time for a rest. The guards at the guard tower, they watched the perimeter. They made sure that no zombies entered the base while everybody slept. And then the next day when the girls woke up, they were surprised with another drop shipment of more supplies to help the base. They received more food and more uh, lumber and more iron and some other things too, some more fuel. Just everything that the girls needed to help expand the base and fight against the zombies. And then Aya Sirico was almost done gathering all the food from the granaries, so the base was going to have lots more food again. We were running low on food. The girls were so hungry back at home. Just all the food always ran out. There was always so many girls in the base. Just needed so much food and water. But Aya Sirico was doing the job to feed everybody. She was the only reason this base was surviving at this point. It was all because of her. The Zed Girl Special Forces were regaining back their lives. They were regaining back what they had once before. They had lost everything, but now they were rebuilding from nothing. Now, the uh, Zed Girl Special Forces were gonna take back the whole world. The zombies, they were all gonna die for what they did. <laughs> 